I was convinced that I was astrally projecting, actually, back in high school. I told a couple people on the school bus before they go to bed to write down a word on a piece of paper and to put it face up on their nightstand. I would tell them that I'm going to astrally project to their room and see if I could tell them what the word was the next day. It never worked, obviously. I've had some conversations with people who claim to be advanced practitioners of this, and most of them won't even attempt it. Same with remote viewing and all that. Now, to find out years later that these extensive tests have been done, I thought it was interesting. I don't know. I figured I'd have to share it. Researchers prove this repeatedly. They actually found ways to make people have OBEs in the lab. People think so many supernatural claims are too mysterious to be tested or that they're too far outside of our reach, and that might be true for some things, but really, that mentality doesn't get us far. Lots of these things can be tested in lots of ways, and although we can never really be 100% sure about anything in life, we can have a confident understanding based on logic, reasoning, and overwhelming evidence. There was a neuroscientist named Olaf Blanc who found out that by sending a tiny electrical pulse to that specific area of the brain that we talked about, he would do this during surgery and he can make the patient instantly feel like they're floating up and watching from above. This has been done a lot since then. The whole experience is mapped to a physical spot in the brain and they've tested it to see whether or not these people were actually floating outside of their bodies. Your mind believes the illusion. Researchers have set up double-blind studies in hospitals all over the world. They put things in the room where the patient couldn't possibly see them if they were confined just to their physical body. They would put up small pictures or words or symbols on the tops of tall cabinets and surgical lamps or high shelves or anything like that. So these targets are only visible from a high vantage point, maybe 10 feet or more above the bed. And of course, they make sure the hospital staff can't see them, and the patient definitely can't see them. And the test is pretty simple. After the whole procedure, if a patient says that they had an out-of-body experience and claims that they floated near the ceiling or something like that, they should be able to look down, see the words or symbols on the shelves, and they should be able to describe them later on. Now to this day, and I literally just looked into it again right before recording this video, in every rigorously conducted study, not a single patient has accurately reported the hidden images. There's been very few that were kind of close, but no better than random chance at all. You could look into these studies yourself. There's absolutely nothing convincing at all. Patients usually talk about general details in the room, like the doctor's clothes or the shape of the equipment or something, which is likely obviously just based on their memory or maybe 